Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas, I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about uh, Monday, the 28th of uh, August. Today the moon uh, is in um, Capricorn till 1, uh, till let me check, till 2.30 p.m. Universal Time. After that, it moves to Aquarius. If you're watching me from the Americas, the moon will be in the uh, morning, uh, before noon, the moon will be uh, in the morning, actually, it will be in Aquarius. So how's it going to be for all signs? Aries, this is a fine day, it gets easier. When the moon moves to Aquarius, it gets more entertaining, but this does not mean that you should neglect your uh, tasks uh, just because the moon is moving to a friendly sign. Uh, be as responsible as possible and as serious as possible, especially if you were born on the 15th, 16th of April. Taurus, try to catch the moon in Capricorn because that's the best part of the day. Uh, that's the best part of the week, actually. So try to catch it. It's because the quality of time is superior and is quite wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It um, actually puts two and two together. And I think you're going to enjoy the, uh, the trine between your sign, the moon and the sun. Uh, everybody can be uh, lucky today. Try not to postpone and push your work, important work, uh, for that period of time when the moon is in Aquarius because definitely it, uh, it's, it is a little bit more tense. Moving to Gemini, it's a fine day. Of course, you've been waiting for a sign of good luck and this will come when the moon moves to Aquarius. So although the day starts with a long schedule, things will smoothen up and everything will ease off uh, when the moon reaches Aquarius and that will be a happy cue for you to start a new page and to make amends. Moving to Cancer. Cancer, I think this is a, a day that uh, needs to be um, walked through uh, easily and patiently. It's the moon uh, which opposes your sign that will get some uh, bizarre ideas. Uh, suspicious ideas into your mind. Try to push them away. Don't look for trouble, even though trouble will be looking and at you and will be after you and triggering you to do some uh, negative reaction. Uh, be patient. When the moon moves to Aquarius, will be on the safe side. So believe me, uh, wait, 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 and then the waves will Put you on the safe side so be patient let's move now to leo don't wait for the moon to reach aquarius because it may get you in some trouble or in some ten tense time okay which will extend minimum 48 hours so what you have to do is um, be early be an early bird of course and uh, do whatever you have to do while the moon is in um while the moon is in Capricorn. So this will help you move on easily with the week. And I think you can be, uh, uh, will be fine. Uh, the moon in, um, in Aquarius may actually put you through some trouble and you don't need that at all now. Let's move now to uh, Virgo. Virgo, of course, uh, you love the effects of the moon in Capricorn, the sun in your sign, the trines, two trines from, um, uh, two trines from uh, uh, Uranus and uh, Jupiter are still there. Uh, also from Pluto, which is in Capricorn. So you are still powerful. Try to wake up early. Try to be active. Try to be uh, optimistic because you are in, op the, the quality of time is really empowering while the moon is in um, Capricorn. It's really helpful. And if you don't get uh, by 2.30 p.m. universal time what you've been looking for, uh, it means, uh, and you have done everything possible, this means it's not for you. You have to wait for some other time. When the moon moves to Aquarius later on, uh, the quality of, my, of time changes and maybe uh, maybe unless your chart has something really extraordinary with maybe your ascendant also being a Virgo or Taurus or maybe Capricorn, um, the chances of huge success are normal. Uh, okay, so let's... Uh uh, let's move now to uh, Libra. Libra with the planet Mars in your sign. You have a lot of energy going around. Everything seems to be a little bit um, uh, um, hasty, pushy a little bit under the effects of the moon in Capricorn till 2.30 p.m. universal time. After that, it gets easier, it gets lovelier with the moon in um, in Aquarius in trine with your, uh, with your sign and with... Um, uh, Mars, I think 
everything seems to ease down, you know. Uh, but this does not mean that you have to uh, keep uh, a blind eye. You still need to watch, to be watchful, and you have to keep an eye on your uh, reactions and emotions. They may go out of way. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, move now to Scorpio. Scorpio, uh, definitely the moon in Capricorn is very, very helpful. I like it. It's very interesting. The planet Mars, which moves to Libra, may trigger some uh, uh, some inner struggle. Okay, This inner struggle may ask you to be more careful with your uh, uh, emotions, especially negative emotions. And if you, if you feel uh, tired, maybe it's time to look after yourself. And uh, maybe it's time to detox detox emotions, detox food, you know, things like that. And this inner struggle, don't let it reflect back um, to you or at you uh, with a struggle with someone. Um, it is something to sort it out between you and yourself. Uh, on a mundane level, the moon in Capricorn is helpful, but the moon in Aquarius is not helpful. It is a bit uh, challenging, so you have to pay attention, especially with your family members. You don't want to go into, you don't want to tread muddy waters, okay? Let's move now to Sagittarius. I love this day, evening, morning, uh, uh, midday, uh, night, whatever it is. It gets a bit busier. Uh, um, uh, by the time, meaning that in the afternoon, in the evening, it's really busy. And this day is very helpful. It brings out this beautiful smile and creative uh, skills that you have, which will help your work definitely. So it can be a very nice day. Try to be as supportive as possible and try to play a good role wherever you are, uh, because this is the best time to show how great you are. You are really great. Let's move now to Capricorn. Capricorn, of course, with the moon in your sign, this is really, really beautiful. With the moon moving uh, later to on to the second house, uh, this will give you a chance to handle uh, all your finances or some finances or pay some bills related to travels or maybe related to some other issue, uh, maybe studies or conferences or something like that. There's nothing wrong with anything at all. Planet Mars now is in the 10th house, so this means that you have some a, a, a more strict boss or parent and you have to know how to handle them with ease and with diplomacy. Flexibility is the best part. Planet Mars gives you a lot of energy over their work, career, profession, but it needs some uh, uh, wise handling. Let's move now to uh, Aquarius. Aquarius, there's a trine between the, the, this, the planet Mars and your sign, which will help you a lot. Um, it, it gives you a lot of energy and you need it. But the moon, which is in Capricorn, still in Capricorn, till 2.30 p.m. universal time, may uh, may still hold the, uh, the, the red light. So you still need to be patient and wait and wait and wait till the moon moves to your sign at 2.30 p.m. universal time and this is when everything rushes it's like a flood it's like a dam that has been opened and the water let uh, let the water uh, flush by so I think um, I think this is going to be beautiful very helpful and you have so many things to do and your energy will be um, uh, decisive uh, in getting things done done. So don't waste your time, precious time. Let's move now to Pisces. Pisces, I like the energy of the moon in Capricorn. We talked about it in the past two days, but then at 2.30 p.m. universal time, the moon moves to Aquarius, and this is when when the clock stops, you know. Um, everything seems to be or on slow motion, so you have to be careful. It's not time to put yourself, to let yourself be cornered. Things may be delayed, things may get confusing, and you need to keep an eye on everything you love, you care for, and you think is precious to you. Uh, until the moon reaches your sign, you need to be uh, extra careful with plan B. Let's wrap it up with born on this day. It should be a beautiful year, very helpful, very inventive, very creative. It brings out great talents in Virgo. 
usually Virgos have some talents. Uh, usually planet Venus is uh, near, it's around the corner and uh, Mercury, your uh, ruling planet is around the corner. So maybe you have some talents uh, that need to be, um, need to come out to the surface. In all cases, this is a beautiful year, uh, romantically, family wise, uh, on all sides, even professionally. Make the best of it. Wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye bye.